Do you know who's watching you? I'm Nathan with American West Realty and Management. And I'm asking you to stay tuned for this very short but important public service announcement. Technology has really changed over the recent years and especially in the realm of digital recording, either audio or video. And so I wanted to bring this to your attention because it's increasingly common that someone may be recording you either your conversation or even your actions through video as you tour a home. It could be a property manager just going through a routine inspection or maybe as a sales agent uh, taking your buyers through a home that they're interested in purchasing. And some of these devices that can record you are very obvious. Uh, maybe there's an Alexa or Google Voice device sitting on the coffee table or the kitchen counter. Maybe there's a laptop or a desktop with a, a camera like I'm using here. But let me show you some of the more discreet ways that people can monitor you, and I think some of you will be really surprised at how far technology has come. So these are some examples. I just came to Google, typed in spy camera, and the number of choices are ridiculous. Thousands of op options. Uh, these are pretty common. They just look like a USB wall charger for a cell phone or an iPad, uh, but they do have a camera in them. Some of them record to a memory chip built in. Uh, some of them have swappable memory or even Wi-Fi so that you can wirelessly stream live video and audio to another device. Here's a pen. Here's another wall charger. This one is a bottle of water. and It actually has water in it and the camera and recording uh, capabilities up in the cap. Here's a weather station. This one looks like a screw, a Phillips screw, and can be hidden somewhere. Uh, here's a nefarious one. It's a mirror that you would see in a bathroom. Alarm clocks, hats. So as you can see, there's a wide variety of options out there and all very affordable. So as you can see, the technology is increasingly common very affordable and it's becoming more and more discreet and difficult to know if you're being watched. So as an agent, I think it's very important to have this conversation with your clients, educate them that somebody may be monitoring your conversation or your actions. There's two things to think about. Number one, you want to be respectful of the property and the sellers as you tour the home. You don't want to do or say something that can get you in trouble, uh, embarrass you or whatever. Number two, you don't want to have a conversation that's going to put you at a disadvantage during the negotiation process. You don't want to reveal how much you are able to pay for the home, how much you're wanting to offer, how much you're willing to pay for it, uh, how this home compares to other homes in the market, etc. So I hope you'll take this back to your office, uh, have these conversations. More importantly, I hope that you will educate your clients before touring a home let them know that they need to behave and speak as if the sellers were right there in the home with them during the tour. Keep those private conversations private by holding them off until you get back in the car or back to the office where you know it's safe. Again, this is Nathan with American West Realty. I hope you found this informative and I appreciate all your feedback. Thanks.